It's over. Again? Wakey, wakey, Queen Vankomycin. Stop calling me that, you little bit. You and Vankomycin are both stronger than me by now. Yeah, well, you came first, so take it as a sign of respect, eh? Anyway, we got a mission from Penicillin G. Penicillin G? I haven't heard that name in ages. Mm -hmm. So, they finally started believing that MRC exists? Yeah, it turns out Cloxacillin tried to take a mission that was meant for us, and the patient died. It was a matter of time before his pride caught up to him. Rescue mission, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna figure out who's taking it over breakfast, for which you are a whole seven minutes late for already. Better hurry up. Thanks, Lynn. Another MRC case? That's like the fifth one this month. Not a local case either. It looks like MRC is spreading. No wonder the big shot penicillin couldn't ignore its existence anymore. <sighs> Patient is in pretty terrible condition with ventilator associated pneumonia. Oh, yeah, they sent in those two new agents like piprobactam, tazoxilin, or something. Piprobactam and tazobactam. Apparently, they are good in zoogomonas. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be rescue mission on top of the usual search and destroy. <sighs> tazobactam is still in there. Dr. Mycin, do you want to do it? Nope, nope, nope. I don't like surfactant. It is coarse and rough and irritating. Plus, it gets everywhere. Mm -mm. What a squeamish little princess. Okay, I actually have a reason for not being able to go in. They're on an SSRI. My MAO inhibition would put them in serotonin syndrome. Plus, that's on top of my usual bone marrow suppression and peripheral neuropathy. Ah, uh, I guess it's me again. Well, what about Doxy? Cat mission. Hmm. Ah, TMPSMX. Nuh uh. Hmm. Well, how about Clindamycin? Nope. Hmm. Well, alright then, never mind. Sure is lots of MRSA nowadays. It's fine, I'll do it. Those three wouldn't be able to do it anyway. They can handle MRSA in mild cap and skin and soft tissue infections. But when it comes to serious sepsis or pneumonia, it's gonna be one of us. Well, good luck, boss. Go get them, Tiger. Quit it with the old expressions. That one is way before your time. Yeah, yeah, okay, Boomer. Hey, I'm not that old. What's going on? My sister, she's... Please, have a seat first. What happened to my sister? And what about Tezo? Your sister was severely wounded by a bacterium she encountered on her last mission. What kind of bacterium? I thought you said she'd be ready for any threat. As you read on the dog tags, it's a new strain of bacterium called MRSA also known as methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Compared to regular staph, they have a mutation in the penicillin binding protein called PBP2A, and this renders them impervious to our beta-lactams. I'd heard rumours about it from faraway hospitals, but none of us believed it. And cloxacillin had always been reliable against MSSA. So we knew about these resistant bacteria all along? Why weren't we warned? Pip didn't have to get hurt! This was a mistake. I apologize. It was a miscalculation. We were hoping that it would be pseudomonas so that we wouldn't have to send in vancomycin. Who? Vancomycin is the founder of the anti-MRSA cult. She's a skilled gram-positive bounty hunter, also known for handling C. difficile cases. It's no wonder she took interest in MRSA. In hindsight, the correct empiric therapy for this life-threatening VAP case was actually vancomycin, in addition to piperacillin and tazobactam. Vancomycin for MRSA, piperacillin and tazobactam for pseudomonas, anaerobes, gram-positives and gram-negatives with beta-lactamases. Great, then why don't we just send vancomycin as support on every mission? That way we wouldn't ever have to worry about MRSA. 
If it were so simple, we would have won the war ages ago. In fact, I would have ended it single-handedly. Well, this is my blade. It ended the lives of countless bacteria when I was in my prime, and yet today practically every species of bacteria can defend themselves against it. Syphilis and group A strep are usually all I can fight now. But just as we evolve, so do the bacteria. And every time we send an agent on a mission, there's a chance the bacteria will discover a way to counter them. Just like how the beta-lactamase counters your beta-lactam dagger. If we deployed vancomycin on every mission, even if MRSA wasn't suspected, we would only be increasing the chances that a bacteria would adapt, birthing a new strain of resistant bacteria. And that's why we've always tried to handle jobs with as narrow a spectrum as possible. Not to mention the side effects that come along with every mission. I admit, this time, our empiric therapy was too narrow. And for the harms this has caused your sister, I apologise. What about Tazel then? Are you just going to let him die? No, no, no. Vancomycin is on her way. Let us just hope that she makes it in time. No! I'm not taking any chances! I'm going to save him myself! Oh, stop! You know full well this will do no good. I have to try! If he dies, I'll never forgive myself! Stop this nonsense. Even if your father is a bacterium, they'll still kill you. I don't care! Let go of me, mother! Boss called in. Call me Vanco. Come on, let's get you out of here. Okay, go. Oh. Hey, you all right? Worried about Hazel back to him? Yeah. How do you two know each other? I can tell he means a lot to you. He's my brother. Well, stepbrother. Ah. Wait, so is penicillin G your biological- Tazo! You made it out alive! I was so worried about you! <laughs> Sorry. Someone named Vancomycin saved me. Hey. Thank you for saving my sister. You're very welcome. I know you would have done the same. Let's go see the nurse. She'll get you patched up. Okay. She's stable. She'll be discharged within one or two days, so don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. It looked really bad when she came in. Oh, she's tough, just like you and your father. That's how we were brought up. Dad always wanted us to grow up strong and independent. Well, come with me. We have something to discuss. So, I'm sure you're curious of the relationship between Clavulanate and I. Well, she called you mother. I mean, that much is true. A stepmother, to be precise. Oh. You met someone on your first mission, didn't you? W what No, I... Well, if you must know, Tezo Bactem is also my biological child. Wait, but I thought Ben was the only child between you and Penicillin B. Well, that's correct. Wait, then... 
Penicillin V and I, as you know, separated many years ago. And in that time I met someone named Streptomyces clavulagiris. S strep Streptomyces? But that's a bacterium's name. That can't be you. It's true. And the name, Clavulagiris, or Clavulanate, is his biological daughter. We fell in love and later I gave birth to our child, Tazobactam. And as they grew older, the potential as beta-lactamase inhibitors became apparent. I... I... And nobody else knows of this? <laughs> of course not. If anyone else knew, this whole place would be up in flames. The only reason I'm telling you is because I know you've had a similar encounter. And that it's changed you too. How would you know that? I mean, you wouldn't have survived that long in the GI all alone. And you're lucky I was the only one to find that note in your pouch. <sighs> yeah, I would have died otherwise. I hope you understand why well, this must be kept a secret though. Bacteria are too unpredictable. They can be our allies, occupying space and preventing the more virulent strains from causing infection. But in the wrong place at the wrong time, those allies can also cause infection. Infections that we end up fighting. The safest choice is for antibiotics to be killing machines. Soldiers that follow orders. Instruments of destruction. We can't allow a little bit of misplaced sympathy to jeopardize an entire mission. I just wish there was a better way. So many good bacteria die for no good reason. Sometimes I feel like we're doing more harm than good. So wise already, aren't you? Or perhaps you'll be the one to lead us to a solution someday. <laughs> I've still got a long way to go. Ever since I was born, they told me that the bacteria were evil, that every single one of them had to die, and that it was our job as antibiotics to make it so. Well, that's just what they told me anyway. But maybe there's more to this story than I originally thought. Piperacillin and Tazobactam eventually became an elite team for treating Pseudomonas infections. With the help of vancomycin, they also served as empiric therapy for many cases of life-threatening pneumonia and sepsis. Cloxacillin continued to oversee training of the antibiotics, now with an open mind for different styles of fighting. With his discipline and rigor, we were always kept in top form. Penicillin G, of course, kept us all in line and continued to serve as the stalwart leader of our team. I still do wonder if her family tree has a few more branches than she's told me about, though. As for me, I ended up undertaking a few solo missions for Group A strep infections, like pharyngitis and erysipelas. Together with Clav, though, we could do even more. Animal and human bites, step down for aspiration pneumonia, otitis media, sinusitis, you name it! Stay back. C Colin? You're still alive? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs>